Alright. And then it's giving me the option to start game. I guess we're going to start it off here. We've done all the, the fun stuff in the beginning. Ending. Hello everyone and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. Well, we're going to be playing the, the, the new Harry Potter game that came out yesterday actually. I just now have a chance to play it. Uh, and uh, we're going to have a little secret fun with this one. Okay. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted in the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Terms begin on September 1st. Prelim preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you to your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of, for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside the school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry graciously agreed to allow Professor L. L Eli Elizar Fig, Elizar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you to London to the castle for the start of terms feast and the sorting ceremony. Sincerely, Professor Weasley. Deputy Headmistress. Start the game. And now we get to customize our looks. Alright. Now. Nope. Uh, the eyes follow me. I don't know how I feel about this. It's like always looking at me. I'm gonna try to make this look at, like as me as much as possible. Some similar to that. Eh, it's a nice complexion. I, I I wear square glasses. I'm good. It's uh, you know just working every single day and uh, playing video games when I can. So I uh, get oh yeah beautiful luscious locks. This is my hair when it's short. Um, this is actually a, I miss you too, it's been so long. It's been so long. This is actually kind of what my hair looks like. Except I don't part it down the middle. That's what I'm going to have to go with. Hair color, it's a little bit darker than that. Oh, oh wow, okay. That's actually the color, but a little bit darker. I can make it whatever I want. I'll fucking be pink. Just to force my editor to look at it. Complexions. Do I want a scar? Don't want a scar. I actually have like a chin scar, but I don't see chin scars on here. Very light. I'll leave it at that. But how's life treating you, Anna? I hope everything's going well. My complexion. Is that like makeup? I can't tell. Eye color? Oh, I got I got them blue eyes. Eyebrow color? You know, I keep that you know bright pink complexion of. Uh, my eyebrows. <laughs> Give me a unibrow. I won't say I have like thick eyebrows, but voice one. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Nope. That was quite something. 
A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. It was wonderful. That was quite something. That is definitely auto-tuned. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be... I... That was quite something. Oh my gosh. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned oh. about. With difficulty, we're going to do normal, of course. I am a wizard. At least you're getting that money then, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I am a wizard. Uh, broken at the uh, moment. It appears we are almost ready to depart. Yeah. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me for the time. Well, hello there, sir. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George. Eleazar. Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. What did you see? What did you see? What did you look at? Jesus, fuck. I don't know why the twisting body scared me. Warner Bros. Games! I'm sorry, nah, it's, it's fine, it's a new PC. I mean, we're gonna have some complications. Made by Avalanche Games. Four key games in Wizard, Wizard, Wizard Green. I can't read. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Why am I so well, late fifth year? You though? couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen oh, this? Yeah. Goblin Rebellion? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? 
<sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. What do I see? Oh, it glows. That's cool. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We did. Oh shit! He did. Oh shit! That is a dragon, and that man is dead. That man is dead. Dead. Well, that just fucking went from a 9 to a 300 real quickly. It's a squirrel. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Press down the heel. <clears throat> It's not going to taste good, though. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Okay. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Are there secrets? So, I am not entirely sure. I thought that this was going to be, like, an MMO kind of deal. Like, a, a massive online wizardry game. Or if it's going to be single player. Regardless. Where the fuck are we? Where the fuck are we? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But no. Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. All right. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? Can I jump off? Question. Nope. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Press X to jump and climb. Alright. 
I really liked like this whole Doctor Who outfit I got going on. Ancient magic. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Yeah. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain to do with that Look how fucking beautiful this game oh, is. That's the path down below. This way. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding <coughs> world. Spoke of the good it could do. Yeah. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Yeah. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Basic cast. New spell has been unlocked. Press R2 to perform a basic cast. Oh, tap. Alright, so that's just you. Use oh use use your camera to have a target. Some players prefer to select target and move the avatar with the same stick by disabling cam camera relative targeting and settings. Alright. Oh, that's cool. Hold on. Was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your wand works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Yeah, it's just a basic. It's just called basic cast. Just a little puff, magic missile, and a magic missile. Magic missile, magic missile, magic missile, and magic missile. We're close magic now. Missile. It's just ahead. Yeah, but there's no bridge. I'm sure, it's some sort of magic. Steady yourself. That last bit was a bit unnecessary, but you know, it's fine. I, the rumbling in this controller is absolutely crazy. Almost there. Magic missile! Magic missile! Why would someone build this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's yeah. have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay. Magic missile. Magic missile. Oh, okay. So your mini map shows your surroundings with you as the arrow, and this is your objective. Hold up. To see King. 
The Professor Fig and I have traveled to via Port Key to remote cliffside of the uh, Scottish Highlands. We need to explore mysterious ruins. Let's see where this key was meant to lead us. I'm sure there's going to be like some like exploration. Oh, investigate. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Magmithal. Now I'm just destroying all of his pots. Magmithal. With. You know, I'm going to go up. Up and around. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Hmm. Do I shoot it? Do I touch it? What's this? Professor Fig! Oh, I was just waiting for him to catch up. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the pork key container. Interact with it. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? Oh shit! I don't believe it. Are we at Hogwarts? Or is this the... Well, Scottish Highland, I haven't found another doorway, crystallized stone, so only Professor Fig and I found ourselves ordering a best view. I mean, I'm sure what we will find. Oh. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, <we're> here. <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Wizard. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. White's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Okay, okay. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> oh, okay. Now we're doing this whole thing. How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? <laughs> that waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Oh. Oh, that was quick. Vault. 
number? Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. I don't know how I feel about that goblin. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, I'm darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Interesting. That goblin was a bad guy. I didn't notice the blow. I'm, I'm not going to lie. If, if, like, editor, zoom in on it. Here we are. Because I definitely did not notice it. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. A hundred years? Well, that's security measure. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, um, why am I moving so slow? What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. And now we're locked. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There, I see there the door. something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay. That's an interesting way to learn a spell. I press left on the D-pad to cast your spell. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Yes, sir. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Oh. But to what end, I can't say. After... Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. After entering the vault, we quickly realized that it was empty, and I saw a glowing symbol on a hidden door. Same symbol in the port key container. When we tried to open the door, we suddenly found ourselves transported to the vast expanse of darkness. We believe we are still in Gringotts, but this is certainly no ordinary vault. Revelio. Kind of... I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. But on the floor. Right here. Professor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. 
Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. Yep. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Interesting. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, now no. All right, all right. I do like the, uh, I like the, uh, the way that, <laughs> it's a liar. I do like the, uh, the way that learning a new spell works. You've acquired the wand light lighting charm, Loomis, which has automatically been slotted into your spell slots. Loomis creates a light at the tip of your wand, which helps you see in dark areas. Press R2, or hold R2 and tap triangle. Loomis, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Oh. Oh, is this going to be like a combat test? Magic missile! Magic missile! Hero or the villain route? I don't know. Well, certainly we came across a statue of reflection, only visible to me. Find Professor. Professor! Fig. Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where oh. am I supposed to go? I'm gonna follow the light. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, they are. I always go the hero route. Ah, that's where they're leading me. I glow again. If there is an option to like hero and villain route, oh. We will see. Oh, another statue? Lumos. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, wait. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. I guess I gotta wait till he stands up. Oh, we're all three of them. Oh. It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. Hell yeah. More. Holding triangle during protector will stun an enemy with a uh, stupefy spell, counter attack. Stunned enemies take extra damage and gain by the gold. Lumos. I have statues attacked as debris was left behind began swimming about. The chaos somehow became separated from Professor Fig. I have no idea where he is now or where am I, for the matter of fact. Alright, so.
Do I want to enter there? Lumos. Revelio. Do I do I want to enter here? Where the fuck am I? What is this? This looks like like a Did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Okay. Oh, this wizard's powerful. All is in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. No, oh, I feel like I'm responsible enough. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. But can never prove or see. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems. Are the key to understanding why we will it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago <laughs> someone's coming who were they i don't know but sir you shouldn't be in here i was right ranrock seems my reputation precedes me I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. I don't trust you. <coughs> uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. And you did. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Ow.
the ancient guardian. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We at Hogwarts now? Oh shit. Oh shit. Welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. 